Uh, you're not coming in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
point of this game is that we, as a group, except for Trey, just sort of get in some weird position yeah. or something, and Trey has to narrate what's happening, and it's still because it's a photo. Um, we're pretending it's usually a um, vacation, we get back to vacation, he's going through a bunch of photos from a photo album, and he describes them, and sometimes he can even like preface them. And this scene is where John was getting bit by a rattlesnake or something like that, and then John will have to act out like getting bit by a rattlesnake. Um, but we always start with the setting, so if anybody has an idea of non-geographical location, or even sometimes a very geographical location. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay, you can do that. Any cafeteria, any place special? At Hogwarts. At Hogwarts. Classic. Happy birthday. Okay, um, so we're going to do a cafeteria at Hogwarts, so we'll make it a great hall in Hogwarts. Um, we went on vacation to the great hall in Hogwarts. So Trey, take it away. All right. Uh, Hello, glad you can join us. I'm going to be showing photos of our recent vacation to the Great Hall of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <laughs> so, um, we got in an argument about who would be in what house, um, but at this point we didn't actually know any magical spells, so we all just kind of waved our wands at each other John, John's nose got really big, but other than that, So, uh, at this point, Niall, um, who's 
little delirious. Um, those, uh, those two uh, red-haired guys, uh, Ron and George, we no, not Ron. Fred and George Weasley, uh, gave him some sort of elixir. He kept thinking everyone was uh, kind of like a floating secret. And uh, John was actually just trying to steal his shoes. <laughs> Sophie got really excited about this. She, she always wanted to be a role model for Niall. And she, she was really, she was enjoying herself. And then um, there was the uh, annual tribal dessert ball. Um, and uh, Maggie and Brittany were having a lot of fun dancing. Maggie kind of stole the show though when she walked on with uh, that Victor Crumb guy. He was a real jerk. <laughs> Mike, Mike was a little miffed because he lost all the gold. Um, some fellows over at Slytherin, they weren't very nice about it either. Niall um, was, he was pretty bad at this point. He, he thought that John's hat was his hair. And shortly after stealing it, he, uh, well, he kind of had a, a sort of a bad trip. Um, it was, it was, it wasn't violent or anything. He just, he started crying a lot. Um, and, uh, nothing really seemed to help. Um, so uh, Maggie and Sophie uh, were gossiping about Brittany, and um, like even when Brittany kind of, you know, was like. Maggie stopped. She, she didn't really notice. Um, Mike got really angry, like deeply angry. He sat in the corner of the evening um, board. Um, anyways, and we'll bring the singers out in just a second. Um, one thing, real quick, just if you were unaware, you came in that door for half a for example. There are lyrics sheets. We're going to do a little single. We're going to do a little sing-along at the end of the show. We'd like all of you guys to sing with us. So if you need lyrics, we wish you a Merry Christmas. If you don't know the words, uh, if you've been living in a foreign country somewhere, I'm not sure of those words, uh, you can go ahead and grab a lyric sheet. We are accepting donations. Like, we always do free shows, but we always accept donations. Uh, let's get to charity. This year, our uh, cause is breast cancer research. So all the money that we raise this year from our shows, from donations from folks like you, and uh, from the CD that we'll be recording soon, we'll be going towards breast cancer research. So if you are feeling so inclined after the show, like what you see, uh, the lovely ladies outside, Cassidy and Jesse and Lindsay and Martha, are taking donations. You can get yourself one of the uh, breast cancer awareness bracelets as well and make a donation. Uh, it's a nice little token to have as well. Uh, so we are, uh, I think we're about ready. We're going to have uh, the edge tones come out. And, uh,
need to turn on the red mic. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Good, Because um, we don't we don't speak words. 
Um, so the next talk is really cool because we still have to make words, but it, I mean, it's a really cool part because it sort of fluctuates more than just a constant, uh, you know. You know. It, it's not just a really cool part. We are the coolest part. <laughs> the bottom line. Look at our sweaters. We really have the most holiday spirit. <laughs>
before this next song, I would like to invite Michael Ocus to step up here. I and Michael went to the same middle school, and I would follow him around like a poker and stuff, and just basically made his life miserable. So the tradition continues. Anyway, the tradition continues. It's Michael's birthday today, and also Nick Utter, if you see her.
Well, in the Edge of Sons, we're sort of the, like the angels of the group. Everybody loves us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> we, we rock. We rock. And I mean, I think we kind of inspire them. So, you know, this song is, that's, that's why we're taking this song. So I hope you guys enjoy it.
finally did start it. We actually started last November, not the, the November we just had, the November before that. Um, we were a little too ADD to get anything done. So it's pretty exciting that we have this done. And I have a joke for you guys. So, how do you wake Lady Gaga up?
we've just got one more thing we have to do, and uh, this is going to require all of you. But before we do that, uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. Thanks for, uh, for giving, making some noise for us. Um, there's an awful lot of guys and girls behind me. There's too many for me to remember all their names all the time. So I usually end up saying, hey, bases, you guys go do this. And then our 9,000 Sopranos over here. Is that a, sorry, there's seven of them. I can't count to you. Um, but uh, these, these guys have worked really, really hard um, on this stuff all semester. We're, we're continuing to learn new stuff. And you can tell we do a little bit of everything. Um, some of the older music has been my influence. Um, and then some of this young stuff. Um, I have fun sitting over there and spitting into that microphone, but um, one of these days I'm going to get out here and sing, uh, but then not this time. Um, before we go, I wanted to thank a couple of people uh, over at the sound board doing a great job for us. Making us sound as good as we can uh, using, using these, uh, these microphones and trying to get things working. Um, and then our, uh, our lovely ladies who helped us, we had Cassidy McDonald, and Lindsay McGyver, and Jessica Ryan, and Mark Malawi. Those, those four are the official managing team of the Edgetones. We've grown to the point where we now have a team of managers uh, that take care of all sorts of things. Um, some of these guys are very particular, they like a certain brand of M&M in the bag, and they you know, have to take the green ones out. Uh, those four ladies have been... Uh, have been fantastic about uh, keeping us all very happy, so thank you guys. And uh, to all of you who come out to see our shows and uh, who support us, and to all of those of you who made donations either before the show or are going to do it on your way out, uh, we thank you as well. Listen for, uh, we, we do have a website, it hasn't been updated in a while, but I'm going to do that soon. Uh, we should be having uh, a couple of performances coming up after the winter break. Our big show is going to be in April. And I believe it's mid-April, like the 14th or so, but that, uh, that information will get out to everybody. Um, and we've got three shows that night. That's our big harmony uh, show where uh, we'll have a whole bunch of new songs as well. And uh, we encourage you guys to come back for that. We'll have our new CD ready to go at that point, too. So uh, I need everybody to get out their lyric sheets. We're going to sing a little We Wish You a Merry Christmas to send us off in the holiday spirit. If you know any harmony parts, by all means, throw them out there. We're just going to have fun with this song. Ready? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.